there's an intimacy when you're married. An intimacy. I, I can only, I can't tell you about it. I can only share with you a situation where the intimacy came out that no one told me about. The other day, my husband walked in the house like this. I said, honey, what's wrong? He said, I gambled and I lost. He <laughs> his pants is what happened. <laughs> you see, that's an intimacy I would not be privy to if we just lived together. Because when you live with someone and you yourself, it's better you come home with no pants at all. You're like, I don't know what the happened. I thought I had them on. Because that then puts the onus on the other person. They then have to ask themselves, if I ask the question, will I be happy with the answer I receive? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now that we're married? What am I going to do, get a divorce? How, how am I supposed to do it? Well, we'll go to the attorney and go, ma'am, what's, what's the problem? Why do you want a divorce? Do you not love your husband anymore? No, nope, I love him very much. Uh, did, did he cheat on you? Nope, that didn't happen at all. Oh, what? He himself. Okay? And I do the laundry. I'm like, I don't... Does that work? Yeah, they're poop jokes, but poop jokes are funny. Who cares? We all do it. You never hit yourself before? Get out of here. We've all been in the middle of the winter with a cold and a sneeze and a true and oh my god. Throw a woman on myself at the mall and you gotta throw your underwear away in the bathroom. That's real. That's real. See if J-Lo sings about that on her next song. <laughs> you find the funny, it's there. I'm telling you, it's there. You just gotta know where to look for it, you understand? I, I'm tired sometimes. That's why I gotta teach other people to do it, because sometimes I'm too tired to look for it anymore. I'm tired all the time. I get grumpy. My husband said to me, he goes, you're like two different women. Sometimes you're nice, sometimes you're mean. Two different women. Well, aren't you lucky? It's a threesome for you every night. <laughs> Menage a mommy, huh? I'm not, tired. I'm not the only woman tired with a career and a kid and all that stuff, because that's why those books, Fifty Shades of Grey, were popular. Because <laughs> the main character ties the woman up. And while you're tied up, you don't have to do the laundry, the dishes, you don't have to drive anyone anywhere. <laughs> It's behind the milk! <laughs> Move the milk! I just bought it on Tuesday! <laughs> so much fun. I'm tired. I know I'm tired, because I used to watch all those polygamous documentaries. <laughs> right? I used to watch them, and like, with the... the just with so much energy and verve and, and get mad. Cause I, I mean, I get, you know, I think you understand, like I'm a strong woman. Like I, I get mad at those women. How come you don't respect yourself? What is wrong with you? You don't respect yourself. You're gonna take an eighth of a man. That's what you will settle for out of your life. Now I watch those shows. I'm like, holy shit, I need a wife. <laughs> what? You mean one broad cooks while the other one cleans? Someone watches the kids? I get sex every third night? The rest of the time I sleep in the bed in the shape of an ex? Sign me the fuck up! <laughs> Jeez. That is a health care plan!